the lawn is mowed the flowers are flowering it's a hot day july 7 2020 oh the sun is up and it's hotter than ever 90 throughout the week high 90 this weekend i think the cabbage is ready to be harvested actually it was ready at least a week ago maybe even two weeks ago i mean look at that bell pepper right there look at that one right there they're not monsters by any mean but they're just perfect go ahead and harvest what's on there and uh that'll help the rest grow twisty twisty God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Look at these uh, rattlesnake pole beans. They're starting to grow right there. I just now noticed that. I missed that earlier. Over here is asparagus bean. They're not beaning yet. Something noteworthy is this cuke is cumbering. Right here we have banana peppers and uh this one has been on the vine for a little bit too long but uh we'll salvage it there's a, this too is supposed to be a banana pepper plant but look down here does that look like a banana pepper to you To me, it looks and smells like Anaheim pepper, which that's all right. I like these too. Super sweet 100, look at that. Two of them ready to go. Right here, we got your Timmy G grape tomatoes. Let me harvest this one. Now, how cool is that deformity? <laughs> Looks like we got three more ready. Right here, we have two, well, we'll go ahead and say three, sweet 100 cherry tomatoes ready to be picked. And over here, we have a big boy on the vine who uh, overstayed his welcome on the vine. Looks like the birds may be getting that one. The Golden Jubilees are not ready to harvest yet, but look at that. Down here, we have a yellow pear. Our first yellow pear cherry tomato. And many more to come. And up here on the porch, this $20 plant right here. Still growing. Plenty of green. And uh, plenty of red to be harvested. To these tastiest tumbler and uh, look at all those that are ready to be harvested and over here neighboring them the romas that are oh so close yes it's that time of year harvest season is beginning here the uh, market more 76 and the space master cucumbers are not producing yet but uh they're well on their way they're well on their way guys here is the lemon cucumber jungle and uh looks like they're pretty thirsty so after we get this harvesting done we'll have to give them some water chances of rain when you want rain no rain go ahead and water and then it'll rain the way she goes <laughs> right down here we have a lemon cucumber and uh, why is it called a lemon cucumber well it's a cucumber and it kind of looks like a lemon I reckon where did it originate from I don't know but uh, yeah you just wash it off and slice it and eat it look right here the homestead tomatoes they're not ready to be harvested yet they're still green 
Some fried green tomatoes sound good, don't they? Oh, they do. But that comes towards the end of the season whenever there's no hope on them turning red. But uh, the zucchini. Oh, boy. The zucchini, guys. Would you look at that? Well, see if I can get it without twisting the whole plant out. There we go. Oh boy, that's a little uh, baseball bat there. A little bit bigger than you want them. Oh man, I should have should have went ahead and left it on the vine for a couple more days. Then had some zucchini bread made. But you know what? When it's like this, that's all right. I can still eat it. Saute it or bake it with a little bit of oil some garlic salt oh boy still good boys guys gals y'all the goose <laughs> oh man oh look at this oh the wow the royal burgundy beans oh my goodness look at all of those look at all of these my goodness, looks like some are salvageable, but some have gotten way too big. Wow. You gotta watch those beans, guys. They take off in a day. So, uh, wow. Oh, man. Looks like I missed them this year. I don't know. Some of them are pretty tough. I don't know. Let's see. Pretty chewy. Yeah, it's hot out here. That was good though. So, uh, I think they're going to be salvageable. So, uh, let me shut up and get to picking these here cherry tomatoes are called uh midnight snack and uh oh they're starting to blush i don't think this one was quite ripe yet but uh it fall fell so easy off the vine so did that one. Oh yeah all that hard work is starting to pay off look at the purdies If any of y'all believe in prayer out there, pray for E, the empty nester. Um, just ask that you pray for her. Pray for her grandson. Pray for her whole family and close friends. If you're the praying kind, if not, keep them in your good thoughts, won't you? Um, this is old gear. And, uh, I gotta get out of here. I am a man of many tomatoes. I fertilize them along the way. He fertilizes them along the way. <laughs>